Well, this morning I woke up in Utah, connected with Clint Laidlaw, Brian Cusco, and Dave Kaufman. Do a little bit of herping. We're here on this Rocky Out Bluff this morning, a little bit before sunrise. It's sunrise now, looking for chuckawallows. The real reason I'm actually here in Utah has to do with super dwarfs. But I will tell you what, if you don't get out and do this kind of stuff every now and then, you're missing out on life. So we are, obviously it's really hot. You can plant rice on my forehead right now. And we finally found a reptile. Yeah, so, you know, I, there's the red rocks, there's the black rocks. I assume that the black rocks will heat up faster than the red rocks. So I came over here to this outcrop of black rocks to find a chucky. We're gonna have to work really, really hard to find stuff out here. It's really hot, really dry. I just happened to be walking from one boulder patch to the other. Boom, he's just sitting there right in the grass. Just like that. Just as he's Baby sitting desert there. tortoise Baby on desert a rocky tortoise, outcropping. Yeah. Life in the fast lane as a reptile herper. Now we're gonna hurry up and wait to see if he moves. Is that the idea? He's you want already, him to move? He's already moving a little. I want his head to come out of the shell. Yeah, head out of the shell. So, so we'll get that completely natural shot of him up on top of this rock. You know, it's funny because you <laughs> you come out here expecting to find what you expect to find, the Chuckies. And then you find something this rare and this awesome. And yet, I'm still looking at all the rocks looking for Chuckies. Because I really want to see a Chucky out here. I guess as long as you're looking, you're finding, huh? Yeah. That's the idea. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Brian. What do you... No. <laughs> I know that I had already given up for the day. I was just kind of going to sit over there and soak up the sun. And then I left my phone on so Dave could call me. I've been turning my phone off so I could film. But this time I forgot to turn off the, you know, cell mode. And he interrupted my time lapse. I was like, Dave, you're interrupting my time lapse. And he's like, yeah, well, I found a desert tortoise. I was like, oh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> you might want to time lapse this. Clint looks like a cat ready to pounce. That's what I'm going for. He looks like a cat ready to film. Oh, I see him wiggling. Yep. I mean, tortoises got to be at least as cool as finding a snake. I've never found a tortoise ever. So yeah. Oh, that's crazy. right. That's what you said. This yeah. is the first tortoise that you've ever found in the wild. Mine as well. Well, wow. I've got vloggers everywhere. So this tortoise, <laughs> tortoise, but I also found a Clint. No big deal. <laughs> but look at this little guy. He's just a little juvenile, but. This is the most northerly range in California and Arizona and obviously here in Utah. But this is, wow, you know, you come out here with the target species of trying to find Chuck Wallas. We haven't seen one yet. The temperature has increased, what, maybe 110, 120 right now? It's, it's warm. The cool thing about being out is you learn things about animals you can't tell from Googling pictures of them online. You ever wonder why Chuck Wallas are red and black? Look at that. It just perfectly matches. They usually have a big dark spot on their back, kind of reddish, the rest of them. And here's the rocks you have. Well, I have not seen any chucks yet, but would you say that these are chuck wall of trails, little tail drag marks? Hey, Mr. Cusco. All right. What do you have for us today? What do I have for you? Yeah, for our um, channel. Hopefully not more disappointment. It's amazing how beautiful and prime and pristine this habitat looks for us felt, not finding anything. I almost fell flat on my face just now, tripping over the rock. That would have been good for you. All right, how about you, Dave? Yes, sir. You got anything special for us this morning? Well, I'd like to see a chuck walla. I would like to see a horn lizard. I would like to see a coach whip. I would like to see a rattlesnake. I would like to see, yeah, that's about it. On a herp trip like this, it's not the herps that you see, it's the people that you're with that makes it awesome. You're talking about Owen again, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. He's pretty cool. Clint. Hi. What do you feel about this trip so far? It's dry. <laughs> it is quite dry. Dry, reptile dry. Dry from uh, any sort of moisture. Oh, this guy's going multi-level. Metaphorically, I know. physically. And emotionally dry. Yeah. Oh, and I want to know what it's like being raised by this guy. I don't know. You don't know? Would you trade him in for any of the other dads here today? Dave. Would... Dave. Dave. What's that? He would pick you as a dad. He yes. doesn't bother. Oh. Just so you know, he's the least practiced. <laughs> I scream for dinner every night. Oh my gosh, guys. There might be a reptile. 
sitting on top of that rock. There's a little point kind of going this way. And just to give you an idea of, of scale and perspective with, with this, Dave Kaufman spotted it and I'm on like the zoomed in camera. So it actually looks bigger on the screen. Whoa, this little guy right there. Is that attractive? Yeah, I think, I think so. so. And it's smaller in life than it is here, but let's go check it out. We're so excited just to be even 50 feet from an actual reptile in Utah. That's how hard it's been. There it goes. Ah, he didn't move very Chuck Walla like though. Where did he go? This is really a big one. Oh, didn't he jump down this way? All right, what do we got here? Oh, look at that brood. What the heck is that thing? It was sitting there like that? That's crazy. Your dad found it. What is it, buddy? Desert it's a desert tortoise. So this is Owen. This is Clint's son. as big as he is. And this is Clint's new son. <laughs> that, was he just sitting right here? Just right there. Wow. This is crazy, guys. Desert tortoise sitting out on a rock. Cliffs right here. This is a, a tooth mark gouge, and there's two right here. So something bit and dragged its teeth up along there. The only thing that could do Pretty that is crazy. a cougar. You and your cougars, man. I like cougars. I know you do. Cougars like me. Big story. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Owen says, oh, boy. Here we go. One of these guys. <laughs> what kind of animal do you think it is, Ewan? Coyote. I bet that's from a cougar. Oh. Uh, cougar? I think Owen's right. But Dave has the bigger imagination. A coyote? Yes, these are illegal to touch unless you have a permit. Do you have that permit? So look at these puncture <laughs> marks right here. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hashtag tortoise don't care. <laughs> Coyote cougar, no problem. Rocky cliff, I was built for this. It is very hot here. Very, very hot here. Oh, sorry, fish. Get out of that hat. Going towards me. Right into the net, right into the net, right into the net. We'll go around it, we'll go around it. Get your hand there ready, Ryan. Yeah. <clears throat> Scoop him. Scoop him. You know, ah! <laughs> he's underneath my butt. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. He's, he's literally like, underneath me. This is the situation butt. he's been waiting for. All right, can you, you're not in any position where you can just stand up, are you? Is this, he on your feet? Underneath? This is professional herping. This thing, I feel him. I feel him calling. He's coming underneath me. Is he under your, is uh, he, I'm touching Is he up your pant feet. leg? He might be up my pants. <laughs> It'd be great if he would. Wait, okay, hang on. You just lift. You guys ready? Yep, one, two, five. Got him. You got him? Oh! There he is. <laughs> <laughs> that I was wasn't weird. a lot weird. of work to get this little lizard. <laughs> Headed straight for my butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's great. Oh, Clint, you caught him. Nice catch. the honors of telling everybody what he is. <laughs> oh, this is one of my favorite local lizards. This is a tiger whiptail. They're, they're one of the teed lizards. So you know how much I love tegu. Absolutely. And the tegus are just the giant whiptails of the Americas. The whiptails, they're so cool. They've all got a forked tongue. So if we get, ooh, come down, buddy. If we get lucky, we'll get to see him sticking out that little forked tongue when he relaxes and wants to smell the world. But they look, when you see them up close, they look like little tegus. They do. Because they are. This is a mini Gus Gus. This really is a mini Gus Gus. And, and I just adore them. There are some parthenogenic species of these. This is not one of them to my understanding. He's got a perfect tail. They can drop this tail, which is one of the differences between them and their sort of convergent counterpart in the old world, the monitors. I like having you in my videos. I don't have to do anything but film. <laughs> Let me see his back real quick. Literally oh, captured oh, oh, oh. with your butt. You must be proud. <laughs> uh, I like my butt from time to time. You're so and famous! Yeah! I mean, if he I only his knew his chin. what was happening right now. There was now. that tongue. There was that tongue. <laughs> Here. With us you... spending this much time with this lizard, it just shows you how hard going this herping trip yeah, has been. That's absolutely correct. All four of us grabbing at Brian, 
circled around this guy. You know, like, if, if we were finding like paparazzi like, or right, something. <laughs> if we were finding like snakes and other things out here, we probably would have right. just pointed and said, "Hey, yeah. look, hey, there's, look one. there's one." Yeah, right, yeah. right. Exactly. We no, we need to get hands on something, please. <laughs> what did we find here? Well, we found a really, really bodacious beetle, and actually, bodacious I'm trying to figure beetle, figure it. out exactly which kind it might be. If you know, please let us know. And the alight, the pronotum is black in the center. It has this green ring around the outside. Some huge mandibles, really long antenna. We lost Brian Cusco. So Brian! now we're on a manhunt. Brian! So the yelling snake trick actually worked. Tom brought him back in. For a minute, I thought this was all that was left of you, Brian. These landscapes have kind of made this trip worthwhile even with our minimal reptile success. Look at these. This is crazy, guys. We're way up on this hill and we're just walking around and there's like insane carvings. Look at these things. You got a duck here. Here's a footprint. That is cool. And I don't know what this guy is, but that's its eye. It almost looks like a turtle. These have been here for a while because the top of this rock has broken and split off and this is not a fresh break. But you can see where the carvings extended to the piece of the rock that was once there. Yeah, Clint just had like an avalanche here. There you go. Little, little, little descent right there. Got it. You're done. Woohoo! We live! You guys missed the part though where he was sliding down the cliff and the rocks were pushing him down. <laughs> All of the hard ground below him was turning into liquid, <laughs> like liquefied hill. But we did survive. Good job. No big deal. You yes, ready indeed. to find some stuff? Let's do it. All right. Oh, look at the bats in the river. This is cool. You see all the bats drinking? So we found a toad. And then the guys looked it up to see what it was, pretending like they knew what it was all along. So we found a toad, a tortoise, and a lizard in Brian's pants. Probably not the best herping trip for four guys coming from around the country. However, if you remember at the beginning of this video, I said my real reason for being on this trip was for super dwarves. If you guys follow Clint on Clint's Reptiles, you probably have an idea what this might be about. But if not, you're going to definitely want to tune back in next week and find out. Thanks, guys. Catch you next time.